Capricorn, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your yearly reading for 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. The layout I do are, is a little different than what I do for my weekly readings or the monthly readings. I only do one oracle which is the spirit animal oracle and I will actually read that whole definition out for you from the book there. Um, the layout, one card per month, broken down into three month sections or quarterly sections and um, overall view from the bottom of the pack for each quarter there. So with that in mind, let's begin Capricorn. My landlady said there's a storm coming and it's just really clouded over and I want to go down the road. I'm still off work um, with my knee. Sounds like the beginning, deja vu, beginning of the year. Um, it's been nearly a year since I did it fully but um, my car's a manual, I can't drive very well yet either so it's going to be a quick trip down the road but I want to get this done first it's already starting to cloud over so hopefully but if I stop talking <laughs> we'll get there <laughs> so anyway you get number 68 wombat spirit be at home love that home is where the heart is be at home wombat spirits must be nearly the end of the pack it is it's the very last very last one of this pack. 68, Wombat Spirit, be at home. Oracle message, burrowing deep into the ground, remaining safe, sound and well fed with family is a special trait of the Wombat. Home sweet home is always available if you recognise that well-being is the truth of life. Wombat Spirit reminds you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. You do this by accepting all your experience without judgment, through a deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life, with your family and your tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat of your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being, understanding that all is well. Everything you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. Protection message. Could it be that you're not feeling comfortable in your own skin, thinking that the only way you can be with others is to hide under the protection of a mask? or identity of a mask or identity you created to protect yourself from getting hurt. I thought that sentence finished, it didn't. But um, yeah, I identify with that at times. This mask or persona is supposed to make you look strong, but, is really, but it really just robs you of your integrity. Wombat Spirit arrives to nudge you to drop the false masks because it is not others who will hurt you now. It is you who are hurting yourself when you aren't being authentic. It's okay though, you can course correct if you are willing to be yourself no matter what comes. Even if others are not in agreement with your authenticity, you are safe with Spirit. So yeah, but it is, home is where the heart is and it's where your heart is. And um, and that is your safety net. So Capricorn, let's begin. these cards right up the top of the table because or by the camera because three rows I usually run out of room and now I've got four rows <laughs> happening <laughs> I 
Okay, so Capricorn, let's start. January. Need I say more? Five of Wands. So starting the year, don't know what that is, a bit of drama happening, a bit of conflict, possibly some disagreements. We will clarify shortly. It may not even involve you, it may be around you and you're just not wanting a bar of it. And you may be being at home and retreating from that energy right there. But we will clarify shortly. But Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm not doing the weekly readings or quick fire reading. I'm doing <laughs> yearly. February. <laughs> it's been a long morning. February, Princess of Swords, ready to take action. Bring it on. Bring this challenge on. Shake, rattle, and roll. Get things happening. Love that. Taking action, possibly, and ending all this drama that's been going on previously. Because you come into March with the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. Love this. Very strong masculine energy. Brave, courageous, confident, determined, level headed, everything. With that at your back, you're in control of the situation at hand. Overall, for the first quarter, Three of Pentacles putting the plans and details into place to build a solid foundation. And maybe teamwork, maybe collaboration that's involved. You're not doing this on your own. Yes, that may be causing some drama or conflict or disagreements at times, but at the same time, taking action to move past that and gaining control of the situation there. Into April. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, whatever this partnership is, whether it's love, work, around home, equal give and take. I always say if someone gives all the giving, that means someone else is doing all the taking. So making sure that it's balanced out, making sure you're balanced yourself, given that you've got one back spirit as well. So centrally aligning yourself, being at home, and um, love that. Into May got the three of wands seen the bigger picture that aha moment always say that light bulb in your head moment having that clarity it may be in a negative way it may be in a positive way either way it's brilliant to be able to see the bigger picture and you come into June with the Queen of Cups okay proud of how far you've come emotionally from the beginning of the year even you're proud of your emotions quite stable here things may still be rocky out here so be it you're in control of this and given you've got four of wands overall for the seventh seventh second quarter <laughs> um, stability commitment possibly a marriage proposal moving in together it may be just a permanent job offer buying a first home something brand new having that stability or some sort of commitment happening there making sure that that is a balanced relationship again there into july seven of swords leaving some sort of deceptive energy behind that's not working for you done dusted possibly some backstabbing could be coming still back here off january straight into that and um, now being able to pick up what actually works for you what serves you and moving on forward leaving that energy completely behind you come into august there's love here i think just about every sign has had love here um but could be dealing with a Gemini, soulmate, twin flame. There is somebody significant here. Whether you know it or not, an existing relationship, it may still be somebody extremely brand new, but it is here. <laughs> it brings an end to this burden of feeling like you're on this journey on your own. Okay, putting all the hard work in and no growth is happening. Maybe leaving that deceptive energy behind, bringing love on board here and brings an end to that burden that you have been going through in September. Into October, Ace of Wands, leaving that burden behind gives you a new beginning, a new chapter. Could be waiting for an apology, always say you may be waiting a long time. Do you really want to just be sitting back and waiting and waiting and waiting? It may not even um, arrive. So focusing on this new goal, this new chapter, this new beginning, Wombat Spirit, be at home, keep yourself centralised here, follow your own heart here with this new beginning. Five of Pentacles, I said, you may be waiting a long time for an apology, feeling left out, blocked, isolated here in November, and it's all about moving forward with this new beginning, pushing you forward into warmer energy, something bigger and better, and, um, and being able to leave that cold energy behind. 
because there's light at the end of the tunnel, December. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but um, doing some contemplation here, self-reflection, taking some time out. There's your wombat spirit as well. Be at home, take that time that's needed in order to start moving towards that light, which offers that new beginning there. And I don't know if you can see how bright that light at the back there is of that new beginning and where you're heading. And to push you forward, you can't want more than this, that wheel of fortune. Good luck, good fortune. Let that wheel push you forward naturally and freely. And um, hopefully that is for all of you. So love it, Capricorn. Let's do the clarifications for each of these months. As I look outside at the clouds that are forming. Right, Capricorn, starting with January, Five of Wands. What's this drama at the start? Princess of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, Princess of Pentacles. Whatever this drama and conflict is, you're remaining very balanced. You've got the two princesses either side of that Wheel of Fortune. Let that Wheel of Fortune again push you forward past all this drama. Um, teamwork, collaboration, yes. Taking action, you've got the Princess of Swords next for February. Ready to take action, bring it on and let that Wheel, over, wheel of Fortune override all this drama that's um, starting the year. Princess of Swords for February, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Princess of Cups. A lot of princesses up here in the first quarter. But proud of your achievements, your hard work's paid off here. All that action that you're taking is paying off. Queen of Pentacles, proud of your achievements. Again, there's love here. You may be offering love. They may be offering love to you. It may be a child or a pet always say pets offer endless love usually and um, although if you're my cat that I had sometimes yeah he wasn't very impressed <laughs> but at the same time it is an endless um, love there but that princess of cups there is love here on offer somebody may be ready to take action on that and the emperor for March nine of wands the hermit five of swords yeah it's been a battle to overcome a lot of hurdles that have been trying to hold you back from moving forward but again taking time out doing some soul searching could be dealing with a virgo seeing that light at the end of the tunnel and that emperor conquers all you've got control over this into april six of pentacles You've got the lovers, the world, three of pentacles. Wow. Okay, so this love here, soulmate twin flame, or it is somebody significant here. Make sure this relationship is balanced, but divine timing. It's happening for a reason. <laughs> Putting some plans and details into place, but that world um, pushes over that as well to a point of this is happening now for a reason. Make sure things are balanced. As I said, it could be an existing relationship, somebody brand new, but teamwork, collaboration, working on things together, keeping it balanced and letting that world process that naturally for you. Given you've got four of wands overall for that quarter. Three of wands, seeing the bigger picture, maybe seeing someone for who they really are and maybe in a more positive way. You've got the Tower, the Magician, Three of Cups. Yeah, and allowing you, seeing that bigger picture, allowing you to release the energy that's holding you back. And, um, you know, Wombat Spirit coming out. And um, as a new entity here, building something solid, something to celebrate here. And co-creating all that alchemy, that manifesting, doing that correctly based on the bigger picture and allowing that to come to life. Love that. It's hot in here. <laughs> I've opened the doors too. So, right into June, Queen of Cups. That flew out. You've got the Fool, Justice, King of Swords. Wow. 
this love along this line in this quarter, somebody may be taking a leap of faith here. As I said, three of um, four of wands overall for the quarter. Maybe a commitment, maybe a marriage proposal, maybe meeting someone brand new, moving in together. But either way, someone's ready to take this leap of faith. You've thought it through clearly and logically, using your head over your heart and claiming that sweet justice. Good karma possibly, but good result for the hard work you've put in. Loving all that quarter. So Capricorn into July, Seven of Swords, you've got Temperance, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Could be dealing with Sagittarius, doing things in moderation, not overindulging in things, leaving that deceptive energy behind, but leaving it behind and moving forward in moderation. <laughs> but um, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, inundated with success, getting control of finances, everything's falling into place. Given you've got the lovers next, you've got the Knight of Cups, someone on this journey with you, whether it's new, whether it's existing, but quite confident the two of you do make a good team here and have all that success there for the taking. Patience overall for this quarter though, Prince of Pentacles. The lovers, August. I think I'm molting. I can feel here. I'm going to pause for a second. I said it's hot, but I think I'm, I'm molting as well, I always say. So yes, August, the lovers, you've got Ten of Swords, the Chariot, Ten of Cups. A lot of you as well have had this balance throughout the yearly reading, loving it. Two tens, either side of the Chariot, which needs balance to move freely. But bringing an end to a painful cycle, a lot of love and emotional support around you. You are clarifying the lovers and um, getting that balance back into place and getting that chariot moving and taking off. Brilliant. Could be dealing with a cancer as well, but a lot of love here to end a painful cycle. You've got the Ten of Wands, September. You've got Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Two of Cups. And everyone seems to be having love down the second half of the year. It's so funny. Um, but yeah, Two of Cups, there is love here to ease this burden that you have been going through. You've got this vision. You've got this focus of where you want to be heading towards. You've got the confidence and determination to go for it. That Wombat Spirit is kicking into gear and um, ready to go for it. With, um, with love but again Prince of Pentacles over that quarter patience is a virtue I'm not a patient person and um, maybe saying slow things down as well let things happen naturally here so into October Ace of Wands look at this Ace of Cups Seven of Cups Seven of Swords definitely new beginning here of some sort um, possibly some sort of new love chapter coming off the bat what you've had that quarter look at your options explore your options leave that deceptive energy behind maybe choosing something completely different for this new journey hence something different giving you something new and beginning um, a new chapter there but a lot of options available maybe why slowing down things here overall in that third quarter in order to explore these options and um, as I said possibly going with something brand new Five of Pentacles for November. You've got Queen of Swords, the Devil, Six of Cups. Wow, there may be something or someone that's trying to hold you back from moving forward with this new beginning. Overall, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. That can outride that, over, railroad over the top of all of that. Um, negative energy, toxic energy. It's possibly an X, given you've got the Six of Cups as well and the Five of Pentacles. All of this together leaves you in this energy of feeling left out, feeling cold in the cold energy um, and not able to move forward from there. But you do have that Queen of Swords there. Very strong energy, very direct, very upfront, cutting through the truth barrier here possibly and telling it like it is. Wombat Spirit talked about um, being truthful to yourself um, as well as being truthful, presenting a, um, who you are rather than wearing that mask. That Queen of Swords, very direct, upfront, brutally honest, and it may cut through all this cold energy, this negative energy that's been um, hanging around here. It's possibly hanging around from the past, 
but that Queen of Swords can cut through that energy and this Wheel of Fortune can keep railroading through and riding through there. So given you've got December, the Hermit, there's that light at the end of the tunnel. The Star, Ace of Pentacles, the Moon. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or Pisces. Hidden fears for the Moon? I say, I'm a Pisces, don't be afraid of me. There is this new beginning. You've got all these Aces down here. There is a new start happening of some sort. Successful new beginning, your, your hopes, bleh, I'll say that again, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, all wishing correctly, allowing them to become a reality. Have that light at the end of the tunnel because when things are darker and greyer, that moon does still shine, that clear light for you to follow, for whatever this new beginning is and for that wheel of fortune to follow. So love it Capricorn. So let's just see what the universe has to say. You get the king of wands, the star and temperance. Yeah, being in control of your dreams, where you're heading towards, um, you know, you've got the star again, could be dealing with an Aquarius, you've got temperance, could be dealing with Sagittarius, whatever these dreams and wishes and hopes are, be at home with Wombat Spirit, follow your heart, follow your dreams, but follow it as, as you and do things in moderation, don't overindulge in things, do I sound like I'm lecturing, but stay in control of over where you are actually heading towards with all this, with all these dreams and goals, and most of all, be at home, don't wear that mask. Easy to say, I know, but um, that is your focus here for the year, but love it. So that's what I have for you for the year. <laughs> Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.